Hey, what's up guys, back here with another video today. I want to explain to you guys what the key differences are between the NVIDIA Studio drivers and the NVIDIA Game Ready drivers, and which one you guys should get. So, without any further ado, let's straight into it. So there are a few key differences between the studio drivers and the game ready drivers that should sway you either way. So personally I've been using the game ready drivers for the past few months or since I built my PC. And they are kind of terrible especially for my needs and they have not been working well. So I've been having many blue screens believe it or not when I'm editing my videos, just waking my PC from sleep and etc. And which was very annoying. So for the past two weeks. I just downloaded the studio drivers on my graphics card and they've been amazing. So with that also, believe it or not, it dropped my temperatures down in Celsius by 10 degrees, which is amazing. So right now with my studio drivers installed on my graphics card, the graphics card is hovering around 30 degrees Celsius, which is great. But with the game ready drivers that I had for a few months, or since I built my PC, was hovering around 40 to 45 degrees Celsius, which is not good for a PC, or especially for an idle GPU. So idle GPUs should be hovering around or under 30 or under 40 degrees Celsius, which is probably the best temperature for idle GPUs. But mine wasn't, so there were a few problems here and there. So I downloaded the studio drivers and it's been working fine until now, but there will be updates if there are blue screens in the future. So let me talk about which one you guys should get. So obviously in my opinion, studio drivers are probably the best drivers that you can get from Nvidia. They're probably the most stable, but there are reasons that you should get the game ready drivers too. So let me talk about that. So game ready drivers are mainly geared to people that game a lot or just people that do normal workloads on their daily basis and game sometime in their day. But there are very good reasons to get the game ready drivers so they're mainly geared to obviously gamers but they also update almost every month to stay up to date to all the games that have come out in the past months of the last release which is very good so basically they just aim it toward the general users and not the professionals so they're also not as stable because they have to update almost every month or two so they don't test it as thoroughly as they do with studio drivers which is kind of sad but game ready drivers are optimized well enough for most all users but there are also a few reasons to get the studio drivers instead of the game ready drivers so NVIDIA studio drivers are mainly geared toward the professionals that prefer quality instead of performance so they might be using few applications like the whole Adobe Suite, Blackmagic Design, softwares, 3D rendering, coding, or even data centers, which none of them have time to deal with crashes or blue screens, and they really rely on their computers. So studio drivers are very good in that department. They're also good for gaming, but not as optimized for gaming as the game ready drivers. So studio drivers are very good in their performance, or their quality area and they don't have as many bugs in their system or in their drivers which unfortunately game ready drivers don't go through the same exact process and they have a, a bit more bugs than street drivers might have which is kind of a downside of the game ready drivers but if you have the same problem that I had with the game ready drivers which is a lot of blue screens and crashes then you try to or you might want to try to uninstall from a clean install to the game ready drivers again or just do a clean install to the studio level drivers which hopefully should work otherwise it probably would be your hardware GPU problem which can be a big disaster. So those are the reasons to get either the game ready drivers or the studio drivers because the studio drivers are there for stability and professional users and the game ready drivers are basically for normal users or people that game a lot but obviously not going to be as stable so that's going to be it for this video so guys hope you like this video if you like this video smash the subscribe button right the like button and subscribe to this channel because more than half of you guys are not subscribed to the channel and it will be such a bummer if you miss out on really good videos like this and more in the future Anyways guys, hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.